to bleed. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, welcome to day 100 and Tuesday. Yep, let's get her buck in here. Okay. Or the back of the garage nice and quick. Get a nice slow song started for today. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Happy Tuesday. One, two, three, and... So take me down the road that's a little bit winding To a place they still put sugar in their eyes teeth With the women I'll find and the love is fair Yeah, driver, you can drive me off anywhere Yep, all right, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good song. Mellow. You know, the whole point of the music part was just for me to add you guys into the whole aspect of, uh, I used to cut it out before. I think I've said this a few times. Because I used to, like, do my little intro. I would sing the song, but I would just kind of cut it out so you guys wouldn't see it, and then I would just kind of carry on with the vlog. So the point isn't for me to, like, always play, you know, hype music. It's just for you guys see what song I feel like playing on the way to gym. But uh, on the way to second training, I always blast like just loud noises pretty much. It's not even music. It's just like hype me up for second training. Because second training is always deadly. But yeah, that was a good song. It's called Hey Driver by Zach Bryan. And we are off to the gym here for first training. We are heading to first training relatively late. Intentionally late. So I can, uh, you know throw myself off my game before a competition so I'm because I, I get really stuck on my routine which is like a good and bad thing bad as in like uh, once I'm going to a comp if I didn't you know kind of switch up my routine before the comp then the competition itself is switching up my routine so yeah just kind of doing everything you know more at random before I leave so I'm more prepared but you know the good aspect of being so stuck on my routine is like I get so like aggressively into it like okay wake up at this time go to by this time do this do this and I don't miss anything everything is done like flawlessly you know so like that's good in the sense of like I get a lot accomplished in a day just cuz uh got a good work ethic and stuff you know but um, yeah, I guess I wasted half the car ride to oh, perfect red light never mind I didn't waste half the car ride this light sits red forever let's chit chat okay I want to talk about yesterday's PR session holy that was just shits and bricks sorry shit and stones Shit and rocks. Shit and bricks. You shouldn't use that word. Sorry. Shit and rocks. <sighs> yeah, yesterday's PR session was just not not the top tier session we were looking for. I wasn't even looking for perfect. You know, I was looking for just like another good routine. Because, you know, the last month my PR routines have been, oh, just crisp. So we're just going to call yesterday as, uh, you know, getting all the bad turns out of the way. Getting all the bad routines gone. Maybe... Maybe there's a few more bad routines we have to do today on P-Bars. You know, let's get them all pitter-pattered out of the way before we go to Elite Canada on Thursday. We do not leave on Wednesday, we leave on Thursday. I think I accidentally said Wednesday yesterday. We leave Thursday. But, like, come on. p session yesterday, that was so bad. Like, that was way, that was way too bad. And it just got worse. And please, no one ever comment, oh, like, maybe you were tired. I was not tired. That's the, that's, that's why I was so frustrated. Because if I were, like, tired and I was feeling exhausted, then I wouldn't have gotten as mad because I would have been like, oh, okay, you know, I'm a little bit tired. The part that made me more mad was that I wasn't tired. So I was just, I was just shit in the bed for no reason. But, you know, I saw this one quote. Kind of, you know, helps me, helps me focus up. It was, uh, if you wanted to create a person that was super tough, super hardworking, really patient person, you know, all these crazy attributes and aspects in their life, would you... Would you want them to have an easy life? You know, would you want them to be handed everything? Would you want them to not have to work too hard for things? You know, would you want to give this person an easy life so they could have all these good attributes? Attributes? No, because that's not how it works. If you want this person to be patient, you're gonna wanna make them wait for certain things. If you want them to be hard working, you're gonna want to make things come hard to them so then they can learn how to work through it. So if you wanna become a tough, strong-minded person, understand that the harder things are the tougher you become because the more stuff you get handed to you in life just uh, it's not going to help you with your future in life to become a hard-working individual for example you ever meet an athlete that has a career-ending injury and is still in the sport like myself if they're still in the sport there's pretty much nothing that can make them quit okay you can put a bullet through their leg it will not matter to them to have someone pretty much look you in the eyes you know doctors can't really say it but 
they pretty much looked at me quite well when I had my uh, broken foot and they didn't say this because they're not allowed to say it but they looked at me in a way of like yeah good luck getting back to the sport after this surgery there is no way in doggy hell that you will be doing your sport again you'd be lucky to walk without pain again after this surgery I was like that just went in one ear straight out the other I was like yeah whatever we'll do the nine months of recovery and then I'll be right back at it and guess what it's been like three four years I don't even pay attention to the numbers since I have had that surgery and recovered from it. It's just another roadblock, okay? Just took a little detour and we're right back at it. Okay, good stuff. I wish I didn't waste half the car ride singing because, you know, I was like, ah, oh, I have nothing to talk about this car ride. So let's just sing for most of it. And now, now I'm at the gym, you know, the red zone, the dead zone, the kill zone, the war zone. And now I got all these words flying out of my mouth. Getting all motivational and stuff. Okay, that's enough. That is enough talking. Because you know what time it is? It's time to get to work, shall we? All right, handstand conditioning. Let's get going. Oh. Oh. Yeah, for anyone that uh, really wants to help me out, only like a third of my videos have music in the background, I guess that's not uh, copyright music. So I made a playlist of the 40 videos that I'm allowed to make money off of. So uh, if before you go to bed or anything, you want to just queue up that playlist, that would be great. The playlist is called non-copyright videos. So yeah, if like 100 people did that before bed, oh, that would be fucking mint. Because I don't really watch for it when I make my videos, I don't really care too much about the what music plays in the background, if it gets copyrighted or not, but sometimes they don't catch it, or maybe I get lucky and the songs that were in the background weren't heard as copyright. But yeah, like one in every four videos or so gets not copyright. The other three tend to just get copyright claimed, so then I'm not allowed to make any money or anything off of it. But like yesterday's video, no copyright claim there, so I guess we'll see how that one does. But yeah, if you want to play that uh, playlist, that would be quite appreciated. Okay, let's keep, let's keep going here. Pirouettes. Three, my good way. Three, my bad way. Forward and reverse. Nice. All right, reverse pirouettes. Three my good way, three my bad way. Swing that stance. Ooh, uh, cool. Oh, Pizzazzi. All right, Japanese handstand. Hey, yeah, got right, singular. Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straight to heaven. <sighs> nice. All right. That is it for handstand conditioning. Let's uh, let's go to let's go to vault now, shall we? Mm, all right, guys. <coughs> I am uh, what you call a tape hoarder. See this? So usually when my tape uh, rolls get close to close to the end, I'll just uh, start a new roll, and then occasionally after a few weeks, I'll decide, okay, let's go back and let's use up all my old rolls. And I always say, oh, tomorrow I'll do it. 
and then uh, tomorrow never comes and now today is that tomorrow so uh, yeah welcome to my stash so we're gonna use each piece of tape and see how many uh, rolls it takes up to uh, tape up my ankles usually it takes one full roll of these to tape up both my ankles so yeah let's uh, let's see how much of this it takes now don't worry, I'll just cut to the part where I'm finished doing it. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me use each piece. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven rolls, and we finished off one of these foam ones. And then we actually had to dip into uh, a fresh roll, so this wasn't enough to tape up my ankles. But look at how look at how schnazzy they look now. Ugh. So like so bad because it's just like there was enough for just one loop around my ankle and then a new one for a loop and then a new one for a loop. It's, it's stupid. Oh, apologies to anyone that just thought this whole me showing this was stupid. Uh, I just figured for the last 118 days, all I ever really show you is just my exact same training every single day. So you know, little little bits of different things here and there. I figure are are good. You know, change up the video just a little bit for enjoyment. So yeah, okay. Now let's go to vault. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for vault. Flips and shit, let's get it. All right, two hand springs, one full, one double twist, done. Hand spring number one. Deadly. Okay, awesome, I just watched that turn back. I don't know, I don't know what it was focused on. It just instantly went blurry the second I walked away. Is it good now? Is it done doing the sissy fit thing? What the fuck was that? Okay, sorry, sorry for swearing. Shit and bricks. All right, hopefully when I walk this way, it doesn't go blurry again. Handspring number two. Shit hurts today. All right, full twist, number one. Oh, mint. All right, double twist. Uh, plural, singular, I'm not sure, we'll see. All right, double twist, number one. To be fair, competition ground. I would have died if I did that stupid opening up thing. But I knew where my floor was and where the landing was, so I opened up for this. In competition, I would keep pulling so I don't die. But like for this, I, yeah, I'm not. Uh, do I go into detail? I opened up because I want to prepare for opening up for a floor. This is not the same height or the same cushion. This is a competition ground, but I want to mentally prepare for the feeling of opening and finishing. Because usually I just do double twist over rotate kind of to my back. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to do one where I actually land it. So yeah, good stuff. Okay, we'll just finish on that there. We'll do a little bit of vault again on one of these days. I don't know. We'll leave on Thursday. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay. So that's good. Good stuff. Let's go do landings over there. See that beat board right there? Ah, uh, yeah, you can see it right hither. Okay. Yeah, I just I mean. I don't know why I'm still talking to you guys. Let's go over there. Let's go do landings. You know, I honestly feel like I should do one more vault, but like, vault feels ready. That's the whole point. The only reason I want to do one more vault is because it feels good. So I just want to do another good one for fun. But since it feels ready, there's no point to do extra or else that's just like impacting my body. But yeah, vault feels right. Everything feels right for comp. I'm so fucking ready, okay? So uh, once we have everything for landings, then we're done. And then that's it for, for shame. We're not doing any other events. Trying to make it really pizzazzy, you know? Stuck. I'm gonna do one more, see if I can open even earlier. That was sick. I think it felt cool. Alright, good stuff. Okay. Done. Landings. Good first training. Casual first training. Simple. You know, different. Oh, I guess it's like the same first training, just with less stuff than I normally do. Just because it's almost comp time, you know. But yeah, that's it. That's the end of first training. Good stuff. See you guys in second training. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to second training. Welcome back to the gym. Time to do flips, okay? 
We're getting started on the floor. I'm feeling, uh, well, we'll see if I do real skills. I didn't plan on it. I don't really have any intention on doing it. I kind of just plan on doing, uh, you know, basic landing stuff. So, yeah. So, pretty much just like back layout, back tuck full. Kind of what I did last week on Friday. That's the plan for kind of today's floor, you know, just to practice landings a little bit. Because yesterday I did routine, did all my skills, did all my stuff. So, today's more of a, more of a casual floor session, I, I would say. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started, shall we? Zoom you guys out so you can see what's going on. Hopefully, it gets the edges. Okay, splendid. This floor session has drastically changed from what I planned. In a good way, in a good way. It's not bad, it was all right. All right, last tur attempt, turn, try. Could not decide which one of the three I want to do. Last try, attempt, and turn. Let's get it. Done. Let's go to P bars. Okay. New day, new dollar. P bars is gonna be, it's gonna be good. Okay. Let's go. All right. Swear warning. Okay. Welcome to round two with this bitch, okay? We're gonna fuck it up today, okay? Pissed me off yesterday. We're probably not, I'm done swearing. <laughs> I just, I wanted to be aggressive for a minute there so the P-bars know I'm coming. But uh, yeah, probably not gonna do routines today. That's why I got frustrated yesterday because yesterday I wanted to do like one to two, like just okay routines. They didn't have to be like really that good. Just, just like pretty decent because I didn't plan on doing any more routines really till I got to the comp just so I could rest my like hands and body in general. But yeah, now we're, we might, be doing might be doing another routine today we'll see how my hands and stuff feel maybe i'll just use half routine stuff we'll see all right it doesn't really need much work it's just frustrating that yesterday had to be just uh absolute shit show so yeah few bars let's get started shall we oh yeah this feels like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there ain't no way I'm doing her team man. This feels ugh. This doesn't feel the greatest. Okay. We're gonna do a uh, routine. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to now. Routine number one, only doing one, even if it's bad or good, just one.
go. I don't know what's going on with the Honda, but who cares? That event can suck it. We're going to high bar. All right, Lee. Oh, wait, is the mic on? Yep, we are golden. Okay. All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, welcome to the high bar. P bars is pretty good other than the Hamna. I don't know what's going on with it. It was bad yesterday. It was not the greatest today, but that's okay. Bad turns. We're getting those bad turns gone. They're gone now. They're gone. Okay. Nothing but smooth sailing on P-bars from here on out. We got a high bar now. You know, whatever happens on a high bar, we're just getting the bad turns out of the way. That's what I'm trying to convince myself so I don't pull that sissy fit that I did yesterday. Okay. So yeah. High bar. Uh, maybe routine. Maybe just skills. Whatever. You know. High bar seems pretty solid. Even yesterday after I was all <laughs> mad about p-bars i still hit a whole high bar routine so yeah let's uh let's get let's get started shall we out oh, why did i say it like that I was trying to cold turkey routine. If anyone ever wonders why I keep doing cold turkey routines, it's because uh, high bar hurts my shoulder a bit, so I like to just get it done quickly. Mainly hurts when I'm in this grip. This grip doesn't hurt as bad. Okay, attempt number two. Deadly. Okay, let's try again. Attempt number three. Let's go. Pick up. Oh, yeah. Trap shot me. Uh, third time's the charm. Let's go. That was alright. Good stuff. Okay, we're gonna do like two more turns of uh, mainly just the endo. I wanna try and like lift my hand up really high and then put it on to make it look like really nice. That's so stupid. I did my endo and I went, that was stupid. Uh, definitely looked dumb, didn't it? Okay, I watched the back, that looked super dumb. We're gonna, we're gonna try one more, okay? I'm mainly going for the endo. Everything after the endo doesn't really matter. Never mind, we're done. Okay, my rip. Uh, you can see the blood, yeah, you can see the bit. It just ripped wide open. It was fully healed this morning. That's awesome. Okay, I guess we're, we're done high bar. Guess we have to finish on that stupid turn I did. That dumb, dumb endo. It was look dumb. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Let's go, let's go to Palma now, shall we? What's up, guys? Today we're doing Palma. Yeah, that's all I want to say. That's good. Thanks, Sean. All right, let's, uh, let's go for a routine, shall we? Because uh, this rip is ripping open more just from uh, doing circles, which is not very good. So, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna have to take it really easy tomorrow so this can hopefully be healed in two days once we get to Elite. But yeah, so let's do a routine, okay? Palm routine, number one. Money. Money. That was nice. All right. That routine, super good. 
Uh, we're gonna do one more. Uh, my main goal is to hit the first one. I wanted the first one to be good. I mentally told myself that one that I just did was my, the one I will be competing, you know? Cause I don't wanna warm up like three routines and hit like one of them and then say, oh, that'll be the comp one. No, I wanna like, I want the first up to be the comp one, you know? So we're just gonna do one more for like kinda a little bit of practice, you know? Why, why not, you know? So yeah, call routine number two. All right, cool, uh, cool dismount I did there. Yeah, that was, that was something. That was something for sure. Oh, uh, that dismount hurt my shoulders so much. The twisting of like the arms, oh, did not feel like Christmas. No, it did not. Other than that, the routine was super good. I still should technically get credit for that dismount and routine and stuff at a competition or whatever, but it doesn't matter. The routine before that is the one that counted, but uh, yeah. Oh, thank God. I just check, checked to see if the green light was on for uh, the mic, because I realized if it wasn't, all the audio for my whole Palmo would not have been there. Okay, uh, anyways, that is the end of training. That is the end of video. That was a, it was a good training today. You know, some things are a little bit off, but that's good. We wanted to, we wanted to see what the issues were today, so we know what to kind of like fix up a little bit tomorrow, and then we'll leave the next day. So yeah, that's the end of training. Solid training. Thanks for watching. If you watched full video, enjoyed it. Glad to hear that. If you watch the full video, comment the word road, but not like not like the vehicle road. Road like the, my mic. R O D E. R O D E. Okay. Road. Hi. Right. Bye. Love you.